G'day YouTube, this is a distro review of Linux Mint 15. Now I love Linux Mint, I love what it does. Uh, I'm a big Linux Mint fan and uh, it's just uh, making stride upon stride over the years. Uh, this is a particularly good release for uh, Linux Mint, it's got a lot of new features to it. So we'll get into it. Now first of all, the, the actual kernel, the Linux Mint kernel on this release is, let's have a look name all. So it's 3.8 as you can see there. So the 3.8 are one of the latest uh, Linux kernel releases which is really good to see. Now moving on, this uh, this desktop or sorry distribution comes in 32 and 64 bit distributions. Uh, next is uh, it's, it's really stable. I found it's been really stable up to this point so I've really enjoyed it thus far. Now you can get it in a lot of uh, different desktop uh, display environments. Uh, environments, of course, at the moment you can see I've got the Cinnamon environment. In fact, this is Cinnamon 1.8, and it's got a few new features to it, a few things. But I'll get into that shortly. Now the package file format, of course, for Linux Mint is the same as Ubuntu or Ubuntu, so it's Debian, and uh, its typical usage is for desktop usage, that sort of thing. So not so much servers, even though you can use it as one. Well. Now, as you can see on the screen, we've got uh, Desklets. So, uh, this new release comes with Desklets, which is really good. Desklets are like widgets, I guess you could say. As you can see, I've got a, like a photo widget there to the middle left. And to the right, I've got a uh, sort of a comic Desklet. And this is a binary clock down here, and you can move them around, get rid of them, that sort of thing. So that's uh, really cool to see. Now. Something else I found really cool with this release is the uh, software sources. I've noticed that they've built it from the ground up, so it's uh, it's looking really cool actually. I'll just go see if I can find it, and if I can't, I'll just type it in. No, nope, here it is. Software sources. Good, good. So I'll throw in my password, and as you can see, it's uh, quite a different look to Ubuntu or the previous release of Linux Mint, uh, Linux Mint 14. Uh, Nadia. So, what was really cool about this is uh, how you choose your a visual way to choose your your best uh, your fastest server to connect to and download from. So when I click on here, you'll find uh, it's t testing the speed on the right hand side. So far, the telecom oop, the Linux Mint uh, website is the the fastest. So that's that's pretty cool to see. Uh, down the very bottom, when it reaches Australia, I'm sure that will be pretty quick as well. So yeah, that's it in terms of the software sources, so that's really good to see, I thought. Okay, now moving on, something else. Uh, they've got sort of an updated driver manager, so if you've got proprietary drivers like a Wi-Fi card or a, uh, let's see, uh, a, a video card, definitely, then go to your applications menu, look for driver manager, and look for all the proprietary drivers on your system. So I'm going to let this puppy load, if uh, that will just take a second. And you'll see a list. I, I know this computer in particular doesn't have a big list at all. In fact, it's almost got a zilch list of proprietary drivers that you can uh, apply to the actual system. But there you go. You, you usually see about, I don't know, five, six, or seven there. But it's not many for me. But once you have done, uh, click to what you want. Just click Apply Changes and get out of there. So uh, from that point, uh, if a Wi-Fi card previously wasn't working, you'll get it working that way. Or if a video card or rendering wasn't working, then you'll get that done uh, and working as well. Good. Awesome. So moving on. Cinnamon 8. So Cinnamon version 8. Uh, 1.8, should I say. Well, I'm mixing up my words tonight. And I'll show you a little bit of that. Now, the desktop, the, what, what you call it, the desktop environment or the window manager, should I say, is... Uh, more heavily integrated into Cinnamon 1.8 now, and I'll just show you that in a second when something sort of uh, pops up here. So here we go. So they've refined it a little bit, which is good to see. Uh, it's got this cool little bar for you know uh, amount of space left on your drive, that sort of thing. There's a few little things here and there, and a search function, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So they've they've said that they've um, updated the behaviors and things like that of the file manager as well to to be a little bit different. Um, and uh, more usable essentially. Now here's another cool thing, I'm going to lock the screen and they've got a cool sort of an almost uh, Windows-esque like sort of a, a you know date and time thing going on there which is really cool. So that's good to see. Also you get a screensaver with uh, Linux Mint 15 as well now so that's really good to see as well. Oh and um, also another thing, the control center used to be 
what do we call it? I think it's the control center. System settings. It's more of a unified thing now. It, previously, it was separated into GNOME settings and Cinnamon settings. Now it's all together as one. So that's uh, that's really cool to see. And that's a good idea, a uh, good example of how you change your desktops too, which I've just loaded into there. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I've spoken about a few things um, on this. It's it's really decent uh, distribution. I really recommend it for most people, if not everyone. It also uh, allows you to run Steam on it as well because it's basically Ubuntu with a with a, good, a skin, a really nice skin. So in general, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a really great uh, desktop. Great for uh, just you know your laptop, whatever. Just um, it can work as a server environment too, as I said before. A lot of cool function, a lot of cool updates. Um, I haven't mentioned everything here, but uh, yeah, there's really a lot going on for it, and uh, I really recommend you guys give it a shot. All right, guys, thanks for your time. Uh, have a good day. Please subscribe, and most of all, uh, leave me a comment. Cheers, guys. Thanks.